Hey guys, so a while back I uh, had a video about making copper bus bars, smashing copper pipe, drilling some holes and cutting the radiuses in there. And um, I think it worked out pretty nice. I was basing it off of these, uh, uh, you know, manufactured bus bars that were made for the, uh, the big sab, big green sab cells. Well, these are copper, but you know, they're nice and nickel plated and whatnot. So I was uh, looking at, uh, through the DIY battery Facebook group and uh, there's a member there named Corey Zev and uh, he nickel plated his copper bus bars. So he, he just cut some bar stock and drilled holes and whatnot and then uh, nickel plated them. And so that's a really good idea because uh, you know the copper is nice but it's gonna tarnish and corrode over time and the nickel is going to protect it. That, that really made me remember uh, playing around with elect electrolysis. Uh, you know, maybe you did it in school or whatnot. Uh, I remember years and years ago, I played around with uh, plating stuff, but plating is just basically electrolysis. And uh, so you'll have uh, two electrodes, a, uh, an electrolyte solution, and yeah, suspending that electrolyte solution, you want to have a, a solution of like your plating material, which in, in this case we want nickel. And then you also want your electrodes to be nickel. So your, your, your solution will uh, contain uh, nickel suspended in the solution and then your, uh, uh, your electrode will be nickel too. So whenever the electrolysis process occurs with, uh, with your part in there, uh, not only is the solution providing nickel to, to plate onto the part, but the, uh, the electrode is going to provide nickel as well. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to create the, the, uh, the electrolyte with the, the nickel, you know, the nickel solution basically. And so uh, that's real simple actually. Um, we're going to use uh, just regular plain old white vinegar, a little bit of table salt. Uh, the salt is just to make the solution more conductive so that the electrolysis process will actually go, pr go rather quickly. And, um, and then the two electrodes. So the two electrodes are these little nickel strips uh, that, are, that are for batteries. And hopefully this is pure nickel, but we'll find out. Uh, and hopefully this is going to be enough and we're gonna find out. So I'm, I'm gonna be learning along with, uh, uh, with you guys. So I'm going to pour in some vinegar. And uh, let's see, we'll put in the electrodes. And uh, I've got a little power supply. This is a, it's like a laptop power supply that I use to charge batteries and stuff with. Uh, I'm not sure what the ideal voltage is. I think this is like 19 volts or something at like five amps or something like that probably more amps than, than we need. So we're just gonna put just enough salt in to get the reaction occurring. You know, we'll see the bubbles forming on one of these electrodes. And um, then we'll know it's working. I don't wanna, if you put too much salt in there and you got a higher power uh, adapter, a power supply, you're gonna be, uh, you're really gonna be cranking this thing. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of bubbles, you know, it's gonna heat up. So uh, you don't wanna get too crazy. I think one amp is probably plenty. So I don't have anything set up to measure the uh, power. Well, actually, I guess I can. I can hook up my amp meter, actually. My clamp, DC clamp meter. And we'll see what we're drawing. And that way, yeah, that's what we'll do. That way, um, 
we will be able to add just enough salt to where we're drawing like an amp or something like that. Like I said, the more salt that you add, the more power it's going to, you know, go across. You can actually already see there's a, without any salt, there's bubbles forming on the cathode. Let's get the meter and see what we're drawing power wise right now. We're doing like uh, 135 milliamps. So let me put in a little salt. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna put a whole lot, just a little bit at a time. Just uh, stir that up. Okay, let's see if that's increased. Yeah, so we went to 226. So we want to put some more. Uh, 400 milliamps. I can see the bubbles really going now. All right, that's about an amp. So we're like 960 milliamps. I'm gonna stop there. Ooh, don't let your electrodes touch. That's key. Do not let your electrodes touch. Yeah, so I, I see the, the bubbles really going now. Let's see if you can. So what we want to do is let this do this process and then you're going to see the solution turn a blue. Is it blue or green? Can't remember. It's going to be a bluish or a green or something like that. I don't know how long that's going to take, but we're going to let it run and I'll be back. All right, guys. So um, there we go. It's a, it's a green nickel electrolyte solution. I think that ran for about 45 minutes. Um, <clears throat> a couple of, like, I replaced the uh, anode electrode twice because it dissolved. So this is the second one that dissolved. Uh, this is just real thin nickel strip. So yeah, that's what it does is it's going to uh, remove the nickel from the anode. So we got the solution there. Uh, the cathode is not chewed up, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but it's actually um, plated. It. Like it's, it's nickel already, but a lot of the nickel that came off the anode is now on this cathode. We're gonna give it a shot. One thing I was thinking about this, this may fail. I think I've got too much current. I might have too much current and these particles may be larger than what we want. We'll give it a shot. So I'm gonna swap the cathode over to this side to the anode, the cathode strip, since it's still good and it's got a bunch of nickel on it. I've got the part to be plated in here. Uh, I cleaned it with um, steel wool 
and then uh, I cleaned then I cleaned that off with alcohol and then I'm just have I got it soaking in vinegar because vinegar is an acid and vinegar actually cleans stuff very well you probably don't want to touch it so I've got this little hook that I'm going to use to put it in the solution so let's drop it in like that there we go it's all the way sur submerged and then uh, this is going to be hooked up to this is going to be the cathode so negative and oh it's already running so i'll come back when that's completed okay guys it's been uh, s almost seven minutes and I just pulled it out and it looked pretty good already. Check it out. Look at that. I mean, it's completely nickel coated right now. So I'm gonna put it back in now. I'm gonna let it run for at least 20 minutes. But so far that looks fantastic. Maybe I'm gonna flip it around. to not touch it and get my oils on it um, let's go like this yeah it de definitely needed to be flipped because this side is got some bare spots back in she goes and I'm gonna let it run a total of 20 minutes another 10 minutes and I'll come back guys it's been the full 20 minutes maybe 21 minutes and uh, we're gonna pull it it's nice and green. Um, as so, uh, you keep you can keep the solution. Just keep it jarred up, right? So that's the idea. Is this is your nickel electrolyte solution? And as you continue to use it and plate stuff, it'll it'll keep getting more and more concentrated with uh, nickel. So you just keep it. I did burn through a, another. Uh, <laughs> nickel electrode on this run so four total uh, but uh, yeah let's turn it off and see what it looks like and it and it did get it did get warm from all the, the current flow uh, let's take yeah so pretty much burned through another nickel electrode all right here's the reveal Wow, uh, that looks great. Let me try it off. Nickel plated, bare copper. Like it's con it's a uh, one hundred percent covered. Nickel, bare copper. Yeah, that worked out fantastic. That was just, that was easy. Uh, doesn't appear to be scratching off. No, it's on there. It's on there. I don't know how thick it is, but um, that's good enough to serve the purpose of keeping the copper from uh, tarnishing and corroding. Wow, that's pretty nice. I bet you if you got it on there thick enough, you could even polish it up if you wanted to go, you know, through all that. But, uh, yeah. And that was super simple. So, yeah, on this, uh, I'm just going to 
you know, put the lid on it and I'll save that for the next time I need to nickel plate something. So there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, big thanks to Corey Zev on the uh, DIY battery uh, group on Facebook group. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video.